just wondering where, where we are right now in terms of compassion. And if you're pro-choice, wouldn't you be pro all of these options that Rachel just discussed in terms of ways to turn for help? Well, I, I love how Rachel talks about family planning clinics when Republicans, the far right, extremist right, uh, very uh, religious groups that are getting tax breaks have been arguing in state legislatures across the country to shut down family planning clinics. And that's why I federal funds should be put into clinics. that. I'm sorry, it's you, my you turn, Rachel. It. Rachel, it's my I turn. Mean, you you had your chance to say your talking points. Rachel, okay, so if you're listening right now and you believe that a woman, and you believe in compassion, a woman should have the right to choose what to do with their body and their lives. Because how many people in this country right now are at risk of losing their lives because they have an ectopic pregnancy? Because there are states that are being controlled by right-wing legislatures that are now f making ectopic pregnancy termination illegal. That is a medical ri well, risk. What that we, is what actually we saw exclusion from, I'm just going to jump Hyde in for a second because I want to play something. Uh, wow. But every every state will have the right to vote on and to approve these through yeah. their legislature because and that's what wrong. the Supreme Court did. And well, it's if you don't cruel, believe in democracy and, and people's mothers. ability to make decisions and vote for people who they want to represent them, um, then, you know, that, that that's that's a well, whole different I, country I, I that you want to live in. I believe that a woman should have so the right I, I would just to make like a to, choice about their uh, own body. Rachel, give me a second. You've okay. had your time and you have your control right now. Let me tell you something. As someone who's had an abortion, if I didn't have that, I would have died. And there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of women across this country who are victims of rape, domestic violence, who are, who are well, forced into- Well, there isn't into... really anything that we have heard so far wow. that would prevent those women I, from finding a place where they yes, could, it is. could absolutely Go to Missouri, take Missouri, Missouri, Okay, no, Missouri, Missouri, you, you, you said you that you wanted it to be your turn. So now I'm gonna go back let, to Rachel let and let it be her turn because I've got Thank about you. 15 seconds. You've got just the floor, Rachel, women. 15 this is seconds. what it's about. It's about yes. punishing women. Well, I, I just today interviewed Ryan Bomberger, who was conceived through rape, a man, a man who will tell you that his life has value. Um, he was an amazing Great man. Anecdote. He was Great adopted. Anecdote. And I will just say this. I will just say this. Violence is never the answer. All oh, lives matter, including the unborn. Oh, you have no comments about guns. When children are killed, you don't want to regulate guns. Are you, is this okay. ridiculous? All right. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you both. She I am totally out of time. No, Miki. That's okay. Uh, Rachel Campos, Great Duffy, thank you, you for being here. Woof. I'm sorry, but I could not help but laugh at this woman. And unhinged was what the word that was going through my head, watching her have an absolute conniption on live television. And of course, Rachel Campus Duffy called her out for it at the end and said, you are unhinged. And as her face is panning away from the interview, what does she say? Are you a feminist? Actually, no. In modern day America, I don't consider myself a feminist because the feminist movement has been overtaken like unhinged liberal women like that who are so offended and emotional over everything and don't speak truth, logic, or science, but just go based off of what they are supposed to say in modern day America and our culture to make them cool. Huh, that was amazing.